the F-35, a legend in the making. 1995 to the present day, 2022. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II aircraft is a major American-led collaborative military project whose aim is to provide the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marines, along with its allies, with an affordable fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft, replacing older existing designs and standardizing the Air Force arsenal. It's planned to build them in huge numbers, and it's intended to be the NATO and Western world's leading combat aircraft for the next 50 years. It's thought to be one of the largest and most expensive military aviation projects in history, and it's estimated that the acquisition cost alone for all the F-35s that will potentially be ordered could easily reach over $400 billion. This doesn't include the billions spent on its research and development. The aircraft also uses some research and technology from previous U.S. secret projects, primarily the F-22 Raptor aircraft. And interestingly, it also draws on some of the design concepts of the VTOL nozzle duct from the 1970s failed futuristic Convair Model 200 aircraft project. Work on the project started as far back as 1995 with the introduction of the Joint Strike Fighter program, a joint venture of several departments of defense and previous programs. Two designs were competing at this stage, the Boeing X-32 and the Lockheed Martin X-35, with the latter winning the competition. The X-35 was a concept demonstrator aircraft that had its first flight in October 2000, and by the next year it had already managed to take off, achieve supersonic speed, and land vertically. It had outperformed the Boeing X-32 and became a foundation for the F-35 project that would follow. After a period of intense testing, Lockheed Martin became the prime contractor for the entire project, supported by Northrop Grumman and BAE Systems. They then started to develop the slightly larger F-35 model, a high-tech single-seater multi-role all-weather combat aircraft. It had a highly capable engine and was truly an advanced stealthy design, and therefore began the lengthy and complex process of system integration. The key backer of the project is the United States, with the United Kingdom becoming a major investor. Other countries who have given significant financial backing to the project includes Italy, the Netherlands, Turkey, Australia, Norway, Denmark, and Canada, with further commitment and participation from Israel, Singapore, Belgium, Finland, Poland, Japan, and South Korea. Though in 2019, Turkey was dropped from the project due to security concerns. It was decided early on to produce three different versions of the F-35, but to still maintain a high degree of compatibility between them all. This was in order to keep the production costs down and for ease of maintenance once they were in service. Initially, there would be the F-35A. This was to be the standard version and would be purely land-based. It could only be used on conventional runways and is the cheapest of the three versions. It's also the only one with a built-in internal gun a GAU-12 Equalizer 25mm rotary cannon. Secondly, there's the F-35B, which has a short takeoff and vertical landing ability. This allows it to be deployed at non-runway sites and could also be used in a limited capacity on board aircraft carriers. And thirdly, there's the F-35C, a dedicated carrier-based version. This also has short takeoff ability, but can also perform a vertical takeoff and landing. It has a much larger wing that is also foldable, a reinforced landing gear, and an arrestor hook, all of which are designed to help the aircraft to operate on board an aircraft carrier. With such a complex and ambitious design that has so many different demands put on it, it was inevitable that there would be delays and cost overruns. For instance, early on in the project, all three versions were becoming massively overweight. This became a major problem as it was causing a significant drop in the F-35's performance, especially in the B and C versions. It wasn't finally resolved until September 2004, after a dramatic weight reduction program was introduced. This added an additional cost of $6.2 billion to the project and resulted in an 18-month delay in the F-35 development schedule. Other problems have included numerous software issues, as well as the discovery of premature cracking in the F-35B airframes and an unreliable arrestor hook system on the F-35C. 
there was some confusion with the orders placed by participant countries, like in the case of the UK government, who initially ordered the F-35C version for their new aircraft carriers. Then in 2012, they changed their order to the F-35B version, only to reconsider a short time later and change their order back to the C version. But they later dismissed this idea again and stayed with going for the B version. Understandably, with all these various issues going on and the fact that over 300,000 parts were required to produce an F-35, the in-service date would slip back from 2010 to 2015. Nevertheless, what eventually ended up being produced was a cutting-edge aircraft with a very impressive performance. There were two particular features that made the F-35 outstanding. The first is its stealth ability. It has an incredibly low radar signature. This is helped by it being coated in a radar absorbent material. As well as this, its weapons can be carried in an internal weapons bay. It also has a very low infrared signature, and its shape makes it very hard to spot visually. Though the engine noise is still an issue with the F-35, with it being on a similar decibel level as the much older F-16 Falcon fighter design. Its second important feature is its ability to be able to supercruise for extended periods. This is where the aircraft can go considerably faster without using its afterburner, and this makes it harder to spot, uses far less fuel and is much more difficult to hit with infrared missiles. It also has cutting-edge sensors and avionics that gives the F-35's pilot a high level of situational awareness when in combat. The F-35 also has a highly capable weapon platform that can carry a sizable weapon load in its internal bay, as well as on its six outer hardpoints, though using the latter makes the aircraft far less stealthy. It also has an impressive arsenal of weaponry at its disposal. For instance, in the air-to-air -air environment, it can use a multitude of the very latest air combat missiles, like the high-speed AIM-120. This is an advanced all-weather radar-guided missile that can travel at around 3,000 miles per hour, which is nearly a mile every second, and depending on the version, it can have a range of up to 95 miles. The F-35 can also use the AIM-9X short-range infrared dogfighting missile. This is an all-aspect missile and can even be fired before it's locked on to its target, being then directed towards a target, allowing it to lock on using its own built-in infrared sensor. In ground attack mode, it can use a wide variety of deadly and sophisticated air-to-surface or anti-ship missiles, as well as the traditional laser-guided bombs. All of this can be linked up to the pilot's advanced $400,000 helmet, and though these have not been without their problems and setbacks, they have the potential to be a truly remarkable piece of equipment. With six eyeball cameras that are dotted around the outer skin of the F-35, this gives the pilot a true 360-degree view around the aircraft. It's also claimed that the F-35 is far easier to maintain than the F-22, which was a complete and utter logistical nightmare to service. Though there have been concerns about the aircraft's many systems underperforming, being unreliable and vulnerable to electronic attacks. In 2009, the average cost of an F-35A was $112 million, though by 2020 the manufacturers had finally gotten the cost overruns under control and were at least benefiting from the savings of mass production. So, with over 500 F-35s having now been delivered, the average price of one has been reduced to $91 million. By 2022, most of the project's customers had received some of their orders or were due them very soon. Currently, it's planned to produce about 3,100 of these aircraft, with the production lines projected to stay open until the 2050s, but this figure's constantly under review. It's very likely to change in the near future, as budgets and political priorities change, as well as possible new customers coming on board from countries such as Switzerland and the United Arab Emirates. But there are still relatively few fifth-generation aircraft in service in the world today, and they are untested in battle. So far, the F-35 has been involved in some combat operations, like in September 2018 when one attacked a Taliban target in Afghanistan. And in 2019, it was reported that the British RAF F-35s carried out several reconnaissance missions in combat zones over Iraq and Syria. Both of these operations were carried out without loss or incident. The Israeli Air Force successfully intercepted two Iranian drones in March of 2021, which were carrying weapons into the Gaza Strip, the first operational interception and elimination of this type of aircraft. 
In May 2021, the F-35s took part in Operation Guardian of the Walls, attacking launch pads and positions of multiple rocket launchers belonging to Hamas. To date, the F-35 did not take part in dogfights or any other combat between fighters. Therefore, we have yet to find out whether all of this expensive technology and ambitious design concept will actually pay off against actual enemy aircraft or a dedicated air defense network. Worryingly, there are already concerns in allied military circles that, despite future upgrades, the F-35's stealth ability might be seriously compromised within the next 10 years by newly emerging technology.